How are you today? You know, it's funny. I said that I was going to do a video like every second day after Vlogist happened. And I uploaded three yesterday. <laughs> ah, you know, I, I guess I'm addicted. What can I say? <laughs> you guys keep sending me such nice messages and telling me that you're going to miss me if I don't come on every day. And I guess it just kind of got in my head. And yeah, so... Here I am. <laughs> okay. Um, it you can't tell by looking here, but it is a yucky, rainy, stormy, crappy, windy day. Winter is definitely here. I just can't believe it. It's like we're on our holidays and it was blazing hot the one day. And then a couple days later, it's like this. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is like, we don't have spring and fall anymore. What, what the hell? Like, we, we don't transition really slowly into it. It's just like, wham, there it is, right? <laughs> it's like, holy crap. So, uh, yeah, anyway. We've got lots of birds coming to the feeders now. I didn't put any bird food out all summer because I figured they didn't need it and so I put the bird feeders out and the suet and the hummingbird feeders oh you know got stuff in it now and they're just swarming <laughs> it's like okay if that's any indication of what kind of a winter we're gonna have I don't know mm -mm. I'm looking out on the water right now and there's crashing waves happening Ugh. Yeah. Good thing we're not on a dragon boat. <laughs> okay, it's like really dark here, so it's weird. On the camera, it looks really light. Here, it's like I can barely see what I'm doing. So, uh, I wrote a little bit of a list. Um, can you believe that this is my 41st vlog? That's not including my um, down the yarny rabbit holes or my um my yarn fairy uh or my uh happy mails or anything like that that's just vlogs wow oh bailey stop Hold that <sighs> well as you can tell bailey is a little bit better yesterday we weren't too sure what was going on because she was really like she was tired she was laying down all the time she was sleeping a lot uh and then she started to um throw up and i thought mm, yeah she's got a concussion um she was really not herself yesterday she was trying to be cuddly but she couldn't get comfortable and she would get up and get down and get up and get down and she was you know trying to come over to us for comfort but then she wouldn't be able to sit still and she's it was almost like she had a migraine headache but she wanted to keep going and you know it was it was so sad to watch but she's better a bit better today so that's good of course it's only 11 o'clock in the morning for me so <laughs> um she seems a little bit better Right. She didn't do a whole lot of barking yesterday either. So that kind of tells me that maybe she had a bit of a headache. So it was kind of nice to have quiet. But at the same time, I was really concerned about her. If she hadn't have uh, perked up today, then I probably would have taken her in. Um, so yeah. I am at 478 subscribers what wow who knew that this was gonna happen <laughs> every time <laughs> i just i give up <laughs> uh, apparently they knew <laughs> um anyways i am totally blown away I just, I, I'm like, wow, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. And as I said before, once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm having another giveaway. Yay! 
Um, and I might throw in a couple of extra things just because I missed the 400 giveaway too, right? Maybe I'll do a little giveaway for that, you know. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a, a smaller giveaway for my 400. Seems that I missed it. Only because it went so fast. It was like a, it was like a blur. Uh, so, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do a 400 giveaway. So do the thing. Comment down below. And uh, I will do a pick tomorrow. Yes, for the 400 giveaway. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to send yet. I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? My daughter Tia is coming to visit me. Ah, what a transition. You know that she, if you saw my videos from before, she went to a school, well, we went to a school to check it out because uh, she wanted to take heavy duty equipment training. And it's happening. She gave her two weeks notice. She's almost well this week will be her last week she's really nervous because it's all of a sudden it's happening so um she's going to be starting next month can't remember the date uh middle to late a uh, part of the month i think uh, she's going to be starting her heavy duty equipment operators training <laughs> i'm so happy for her it's going to be an amazing journey and she's going to be making stupid money when she's done I'm sure I'm a little jealous just saying uh, so her and my grand puppy diesel are coming for a visit they are going to probably be here for about a week she's got two weeks um, in between for her to oh excuse me Oh, wow, I am so sorry. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> wow, yeah. I guess I'm still trying to catch up on my sleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so she's bringing my grand puppy. She's going to be staying for about a week because uh, she's got a two-week layover before she starts school. Um, so I'm going to have lots of video footage of that. Hopefully the weather's a little bit better. Yeah. So anyway, um, what else? Oh, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. Did you see her video today? Oh. I am so green with envy. She got to go to the Premier Yarns warehouse sale wow like wow she did a video and it was really hard to see because she was going so fast it was like it was like a blur um you couldn't really see a whole lot of the yarns but you could just feel the excitement right and it was amazing i just thought oh really <laughs> we don't have stuff like that here right like we don't have um like fiber type festivals and uh you know it um what are they called uh, i can see the word in my head expeditions no anyway <laughs> you know like big things <laughs> happening with yarn uh whew, menopause brain hurts um you know it's all back east like they have um big stuff going on back there like the big tent sale and oh, I'm so jealous of that um Ontario Toronto Saskatchewan -y kind of out there uh which really sucks because you'd think there'd be something in BC and Vancouver maybe there is and I just don't even know about it if any of you guys know about it let me know because man I would love I, I, I'd be so broke Georgia be hiding like, he'd be like, no, you're not having the card. <laughs> the credit card's staying at home. Because <laughs> I would lose my mind. Uh, 
I just, I wouldn't be able to contain myself. Do you think I'm a yarn hoarder? That's okay. They say it's not hoarding if it's yarn. <laughs> That's what they're saying, and I'm going to follow that rule. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, Jennifer had such a good time, and all the yarn she got was beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I think I need a coffee. A few minutes later. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know. It, it must be the weather change. All the dark and dreary stuff, I guess my body's telling me I'm supposed to be asleep still. <laughs> um, uh, where was I? Oh, Jennifer. So Jennifer got these beautiful yarns, just amazing colors, just pops of color like crazy. She's going to be putting some in a giveaway. Yay! Uh, so pop on over to her channel. I will leave the link down below. And uh, yeah. I, I want so I, you know I would probably get on a plane with two empty suitcases and go and then go to one of these things because <laughs> like I need more yarn right like I've got yarn all sitting here I've got it all back there I've got it in my other room it's like I got yarn coming out of every wazoo right but oh, it's an addiction am I right it's like once you start and you get into doing this, it just becomes this freaking addiction and you can't stop. But I have an addictive personality anyway, right? So, uh, you know, I've never done like real drugs. I've never done like anything like that, but I know I have an addictive personality. I'm a shopaholic. Just ask George. I can't seem to stop myself. And the thing is too, is if I'm at home and I'm bored or if I can't get out, uh, like when I get my foot done and I can't go out and I can't drive, uh, I'm gonna go crazy. George is right, he says, you're gonna get cabin fever and I'm going, I know. And when I get like that, I'm on the computer, I'm on Amazon, I'm on the yarn shops, I'm in, in Ice Yarns, and I'm ordering stuff, and it's like, I gotta stop. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta stop. So, anyways, that's, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, okay. I had some people message me and ask me if I have heard from Lori from Nanny Snook. You remember I did the video, her son had fallen from uh, a ladder 20 feet from the ladder, landed on his head, He's in, he was in a coma. Um, and I was asking to send well wishes. I just spoke to her, she sent me some messages. She said it was okay for me to uh, let you know how she's doing. Her son is still in a coma. Um, he, they're hoping to get him off of the ventilator and get him breathing on his own. They're sending, they're transferring him to Prince Edward Islands where they live, uh, so the family could be closer to him. So that's a good sign if they're moving him. Um, Lori also got caught in that Hurricane uh, Dorian, and yeah. Five days without power. I think she said her motor home was destroyed. Uh, a tree fell on it. And it's like, oh my God. Like, I, I just... I, we're right by the ocean and we don't have storms like that. Right? Like, we don't get the hurricanes and all that kind of stuff. That's all back east on the other side of Canada that that stuff happens. And uh, I'm, uh, I wanted to move to Nova Scotia. And now I'm not so sure. Um, <clears throat> so we're sending our love out to you, Lori. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, I'm so glad that your son is coming home and that he's going to be near you guys. I think that is going to help him tremendously. Um, I am, I'm sure that he can feel you, hear you, and that uh, 
you know, he'll be able to heal a lot better when he's got his family around him all the time. So we're sending out our well wishes to you and your family. Um, oh, I was going to show you. Man, I'm not just not on the ball today. When I was talking um, on our way back home about selling my Scooty pattern, a lot of you came on and started talking to me about, yes, you want the pattern. Um, a lot of you also said that you don't know what a Scooty is and that you haven't seen that video. So um, I'm going to show them to you again. I've only got a couple right now. So this is a Scooty. It's a hooded cowl and it has fur around it. Not real fur. <laughs> it's an acrylic fur. <laughs> um, don't need any PETA people on my case. Uh, and then it's got a drawstring so that you can make it as tight as you want. Okay. Um, this is my own creation. Right. I basically took a pattern that I had found and I made it my own. Because I, I tweaked it and I, I made it better. Right. Like we all do. Right. Here's another one. This has got Canadian kind of colors. Fall colors. Um, and, uh, oops. So, yeah. And so that you can wear it when you're wearing it, you can, I'm going to have to put it on. I know my hair. <laughs> okay. So this part comes down so you could put it underneath your jacket and it will keep you nice and warm, right? These things, the wind the wind won't go through this, right? So it will keep you extra, extra warm, right? Okay, so this can go as tight as you want. You can be like Kenny, <laughs> right? And then if you want, you can wear it down like this, right? So you don't have to wear the hood. Now this one is pretty thick. Uh, what was the name of the, I think it was Impeccables that I used on this one. This one's a bit thinner. Um, I don't for the life of me remember. This was from last year. So, oh, oh static. <laughs> so that is a Scooty. And I cut, I think I coined that phrase. <laughs> so, um, and this is what Crochet A, my company. Oh, can you see that? There. Um, that is what we are known for, is the Scooty. I've got a big banner that I have at shows and stuff that says Crochet A, home of the Scooty. <laughs> Or official home of the Scooty. Yes, Odie. <laughs> um, so that is the pattern that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be selling. Now I had asked you guys what you think the pattern is worth. What would you pay for that pattern? I had a lot of people say, hey, I would pay $10. Or I would pay $5 or $6 or... You know, it varied from $5 to $10. It was just, it was crazy. Um, because of the fact that these will sell like hotcakes. It will sell, especially if you are in a cold weather environment. These will sell like nobody's business. You will not be able to keep them in stock. So to, to buy a pattern for five or 10 or however many dollars, I will tell you this. I do not recommend that you sell this, these um, scooties for anything less than $30, okay? I started selling them for 25. I could not keep up. I was selling them before I was even finished them. I had orders up the wazoo. I, I had a list of people, and this is at Christmas time. So not only do I have to keep up my stock 
for my craft fairs, right? I have to fill orders. I have to get ready for Christmas. I have to buy presents for Christmas. Like it was insane. I, I was so exhausted. It was, it was stupid. It was stupid. And George kept telling me, you are selling them way too cheap. I had customers telling me, I'm going to slap you. You know, you are selling these way too cheap. What are you doing? I thought, but then I'm my own worst critic, right? Like I, I'm sure a lot of you are too, where you sell something and you think, oh, I just, I just don't want, you know, to sell it too high, you know, or whatever. And that's what I was doing to myself. And it was crazy. So I upped the price to $30 again, sold out. And I was, I had a list a mile long for orders. Um, then I started selling them for 35, same thing. It just never seemed to stop. And now I sell them for $45 and again, they're going nuts. So don't be afraid of upping the price a little bit uh, because people will pay for them, especially if you're in a cold, cold place, right? Uh, so yeah, just saying, you know, you know, once person told me don't sell yourself short, you know, for the pattern price, well, I'm saying don't sell yourself short for when you make these because they, you're, you're going to go crazy. You're going to be just like, oh my God, if I have to make another Scooty, <laughs> like, it's like, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. So anyway, uh, so I think I have settled on a price for the pattern, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I, I need to talk it over with George and I know what he's going to say. And I need to hear some more comments from you guys. Now that you've seen the Scooty, um, I need to hear more comments, okay? Because I'm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm terrible at this. Um, I have, have decided as well that I am going to make up Scooty kits and I'm going to sell the kit. So for all, any of you that, well, A, can't really get out to a store, don't have a store near you, um, or that have to drive a far distance to go to a, a yarn store, uh, I'm going to make these kits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a bunch of ice yarns and I'm going to make a scooty in say five different yarns, okay? And then I'm gonna sell those as a kit, right? I'll have a picture of that specific scooty, tell you what yarn it is uh, I have links down below to ice yarns already. So I, it gives you the option. You can either buy it from my link from the ice yarns um, and just get the stuff yourself, or you can buy the kit from me and not have to worry about it. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm not sure how much I'm going to buy the kits for because I don't know what yarn I'm going to be using yet but I'm hoping to make it reasonable. You know, I'm, I'm sure it will be reasonable, right? But I got to take into consideration the pattern price, the yarn. I might include a hook, not sure yet. So, um, yeah, so that's where I am on that. Okay, everybody is talking about this YouTube um, rules thing that's coming out in January. I go away for a few days and all hell breaks loose. Like, what is this all about? Like, I've seen a few of your videos on what's happening and I'm still confused. I, like, what happened? Was there, like, a whole bunch of pedophiles targeting children or something? Like, what the heck happened to make YouTube do this? Like, I'm, I'm absolutely in shock. Like I just finished telling you guys about my children's book, right? I've got, I'm going to be reprinting my children's book and bringing them in for you guys. What does that mean for me? Right? Look at all of you guys that do amigurumi. Like, holy crap. 
like this is insane and for them to actually have a robot controlling this this is going to be a freaking nightmare an absolute nightmare and i was watching jane from scraptastic yarns this morning and she is on the money with this you know she was talking about how um youtube is still going to be making money because they're going to still have ads on our our channels you know and we're going to get screwed like wait a minute like this is not right i mean i'm not at a thousand subscribers yet but for all of you that are holy hannah like i just don't know what this means for everybody i really don't because it's not like and another thing is a lot of people that are doing the amigurumi and stuff like that they're not they're not targeting children they're targeting the parents of children right so that they the parents can make this for their children right and for craft fairs and stuff like that i i'm just at a loss at a loss you know there's so many good channels out there that are going to get screwed over by youtube i really hope that we can put a stop to it or at least get them to fix the issues that are going to happen because they're going to be making billions of freaking dollars and a lot of us are doing the youtube to make a, a meager living right and life is hard enough out there right now without them taking away something like this right a lot of us are on a fixed income uh or on pensions on disability you know and we we rely on the little extra pittance of money that comes in that can help pay for medications pay for hospital bills pay for surgeries pay for whatever it is right it's like it's almost like our governments, between the state's governments and the Canadian governments, it's almost like they don't want us to succeed. You know? It's like they want to keep their thumb on us and keep us down and say, ha, you rely on us. It's like, nice. Anyways, I'm not going to rant about this anymore. I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos on this. I'm still, I, I don't even know where to look uh, to find this information. I mean, I just heard about it from one of the videos that I watched from you guys. And I was just like, what? What is going on? So um, I don't know all the ins and outs. I have, I'm just hearing, it's just all hearsay right now to me. Uh, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm at a loss. I'm just so, first the Ravelry thing happens. Now this happens. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, moving on. I digress. Um, oh, okay. So I did my, um, um, the yarn ferrier uh, last yesterday and I was show, showing you that I got the, um, the art ice yarns rainbow packs in. Well, I started a project last night. Like I said, I would. I was a good girl and I wanted to show you like uh, Krista was it Krista yes Krista from the secret yarnery was comparing the rainbow <clears throat> to ice yarns and to ambient okay I think the ambient is a little closer to true to this yarn the rainbow yarn because of the thickness but because it has wool in it i can't use it right so um this is very close and she's right it is a little bit thinner not by a lot just a little bit um so here is the landscape this is the landscape yarns okay so that's the thickness my god odie <laughs> Okay, this is the rainbow, oops, the rainbow yarn. 
And here is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, here is the comparison. So it's a little bit thinner. but is very comparable. Now, <clears throat> the softness, I actually think that the rainbow is softer than the landscape. Um, I had my glasses here. Oh, there they are. Okay, so the Landscape is 100% acrylic and it's a medium four. And the rainbow is a three light three and it's 100% a premium acrylic. That's the difference. The premium acrylic is softer. Okay. This one's got that. little bit of a not a scratchiness to it but it's you can definitely feel the difference definitely feel the difference so I am absolutely in love with this rainbow yarn absolutely in love with it the colors between the two yarns are also comparable um, I think landscapes might have more I, I didn't quite look into that but the color variations of the rainbow are spectacular absolutely spectacular so I showed you this one this one is the um, the browns with the the reds or the magentas and I started making the cowl. What? Can you see the colors? Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. So I'm finished the cowl part. So now I've got to attach it and I've got to, put, or I mean, not the cowl part, the um, triangle part. And then I have to put in the, um, the cowl. But look at that. And the thing is too, it's actually darker in in real life <laughs> than it is on the video. It shows up really bright only because I've got like really bright um, light coming into the window. But I mean, oh, and oh, and I'm using two balls at the same time. So that's why you're getting the marbled effect, right? So if you were using just one ball, you wouldn't be getting that effect. Right, it would just be the straight, straight up color like that. But I'm using two balls together to make it a bit thicker. And I really, really like the, the color and the effect. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna end up making, oh God, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Um, I'm going to make a hat to go with it, of course, to make it a set. So hopefully I will have that finished tonight. And then I can show you the finished product tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, oh, uh, I found my hat that I've been trying to show you since we left for our vacation. <laughs> I found it. This is my new pattern. And it's a little bit of a slouchy, but it's like a 3D type of hat, right? Oh, hang on, let me see if I can show this to you properly. It's kind of a 3D effect. Okay. Uh, this was all. This was done with landscape. Oops. Let's try that again. 
Okay. So, I don't know if you can see the 3D part of it. But it's cute. I really, actually, I really like it. It's really cute. And it's just something I came up with, like, as I was going, as I was doing it, it was just kind of like, oh, I think I'm going to try this. Right. I, I didn't have a thought in my head as to what I was doing. It was just, it just came out like this. So the, the, what is it? You see, it kind of goes in the stitches and, uh, it's like, a what do you call it? Like a 3D kind of thing. Right. So that pattern is going to get written up. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it. This is going to be a pattern for sale on my Etsy page. My Etsy page is down below. Uh, if you're interested in any of my patterns, um, this is going to be one of them. Okay. Okay. So I think that's everything for now. I haven't gone to my mailbox. Oh, I have... Um, one of my subscribers, I'm not going to say who it is yet because I haven't got the box. <laughs> One of my subscribers, bless her heart, she um, she heard me on one of my videos say that I'm dying to try out some Hobby Lobby um, yarns. I love this yarn and um, uh, Yarn Bee yarns. So she actually went out and bought a whole bunch of yarn for me to try and then she went through her stash and she's sending me some of her own personal yarn. I paid, I'm paying for the yarn that she bought and I paid for the shipping, which whew, shipping was crazy. Um, but I am so excited. I thought I would have got it by now, but I haven't. I'm hoping to get it by the end of the, this week. But I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I really don't need to buy any more yarn. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so I can't wait to... I told her what yarns I was interested in. Like, the, the colorways and stuff like that. So, I'm, I'm so excited to see if she got it. Eek. Um, yeah. So, I will do that. I will do a Yarn Fairy A video when that comes in so okay I think I'm done today <laughs> it was a short one but you know okay so I love you all thank you thank you thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you for joining me tell your friends tell your family get me up to a thousand subscribers but get me to 500 first and then we can do the giveaway okay don't forget I'm going to do the 400 subscriber giveaway on this video. Okay, so leave your comments down below and I will do the um, winner, the random YouTube, YouTube random picker thingy, jiggy, tomorrow. Okay, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.